Hello everybody, I'm Catalin Pete and today I'm going to talk about a Git trick that will help you save a lot of time. Therefore, let's jump straight in. As developers, we work with Git a lot. We tend to write the same commands countless times a day. Therefore, it can become tedious writing the same commands over and over again. Therefore, in this video, I want to show you how to set up Git aliases. So what are they? Git aliases are simply shortcuts for longer commands. For example, instead of writing git commit message and your message every time, you can just write git cm and your commit message, for example. Therefore, it allows you to shorten your commands and save a lot of time. Think about how many times you write a git command in a given day. The chances are that you are writing it a lot. If you have to write it multiple times, it can be very time consuming. Therefore, with git aliases, you can speed up your development. Let's see how to set them up and how to use them. To set up an alias for a command, you need to run a one-line configuration in your terminal. All the commands start with git config global alias dot and after the dot comes our alias for the command. For example, in this case, let's create an alias for git status. So for example, I can use st status. And now I can just use git st instead of git status. Let's try it out and see what happens. Git st. You can see it works straight away and it tells us we are not in a git repository. The template for adding aliases is as follows. git config global alias dot then we have insert your shortcut and then we have the git command git command above in our case our shortcut was st for the git command status this is just a simple example but you can use this however you want you can create more complex aliases so now instead of writing git status you can just write git st and tada, there you go it works quicker and better however i would suggest to use descriptive aliases for your commands. For example, if you use git cm for git rebase, it's gonna confuse you. But if you use git cm for commit message, then it makes sense. Be careful how you use them because instead of helping you, it can confuse you. Let's clear the screen and let's see if we can see all the aliases we created with git alias. In my case, I can see it because I already set up everything before the tutorial. Here you can see my aliases, st for status, c for checkout, cm for checkout master, b for branch, c i for commit message, p for pull, cb for checkout b and sc for switch c. However, if you want to be able to see all the aliases you created, in your terminal you have to write this command this creates an alias for alias i know it sounds confusing and then it uses regex to find the aliases now we press enter and we use git alias and don't worry i'll put all this code in the comments so you don't have to write it letter by letter and this is a very short tutorial this is how you set up aliases and how you use them. You will appreciate them in the future for sure. They help you save time, they help you make fewer mistakes and they speed up the development. You can really feel the difference when you write the same git commands over and over. Thank you for watching this tutorial and I would love to see other ways of doing the same thing or other aliases you have. Therefore, if you know other ways of doing it or if you have any other aliases, feel free to drop them in the comment and I'll take a look. Thank you.